Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 from Bangkok in Thailand. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Sami Intermere, who is Principal Secretary for the Ministry of Information and Communications for Kenya. Mr. Intermere, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you too. Happy to be here. Now, Kenya is very much at the forefront of innovation in apps and mobile payment. I wanted to find out what's next for Kenya. Well, uh, thank you for that question. It's true that we continue to lead in innovation and ICT in that part of the world, being Eastern Africa. Uh, but you can never say you've arrived. Uh, so Kenya continues to look at how to support the ICT ecosystem in order to largely around intellectual property. But we find that's an area that requires a bit of attention to protect the younger innovators that are coming up. And how important are SMEs to Kenya's digital ecosystem and what could be done to support them? Kenya, like, like most economies, thrives a large, it has a very young population. 60% so of our population is, are young. And then, therefore, opportunities for employment becomes restricted. So there's a lot of uh, SMEs that have come up and uh, the government is now working to support the various SMEs that have come up through various things. Uh, one of the key things that has happened is the Science and Technology and Innovation Act that was passed in 2012 that led into an ICT uh, info, uh, technology innovation uh, commission likely to help regulate the sector. And this is driven by helping to coordinate the activities within the SME sector and also set up a research, and a, a, a science technology research uh, commission to look for ways of generating revenue or finances to support the young innovators within the ICT sector. And what are Kenya's current digital priorities? Okay, we do have a Vision 2030 uh, blueprint. Uh, which is largely driven towards creating a knowledge digital economy. So some of the things that the government is doing, and we recognize as the government that ICT is an enabler in helping drive the various initiatives that we're doing. So whether you're looking in the e-government uh, initiative that the government has put in place, uh, we are currently rolling out uh, a digital literacy program uh, towards our 22,000 public schools uh, and by end of uh, our financial year 2017 we're looking to have distributed uh, over 1.2 million devices and this is all uh, being used to help build that digital economy that the government is driving within the vision 2030 recognizing the fact that to then be able to deliver that vision of a knowledgeable economy then we need to have begun to build uh, activities within the economy that will help do that. Why is collaboration important in your opinion? And uh, if you could partner with anybody, uh, who are you looking to partner with really, I suppose I'm asking? Collaboration is very key uh, for us and we see that as one of the key things that will help us uh, uh, continue to accelerate our growth within the ICT uh, sector uh, and being able to see it contribute significantly to our GDP. And even being part, participating in an event like this ITU conference, this is one of the opportunities that we find it will help us find collaborators that can support the government's initiative in growing uh, uh, ICT sector. One key area we see uh, ITU supporting the government is the area of research, the area of capacity building, uh, and that's very key uh, as a collaboration for the government and growing the ICT sector. You touched upon your attendance here at ITU Telecom World. I wanted to find out from you, what's the value of attending events such as this? I think the, the value of attending uh, uh, such an international uh, 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 exhibition like this, like, like the ITU, helps us, first of all, we have, of course, an exhibition stand here. We showcasing some of the innovations that uh, are happening in Kenya. In fact, we've come with one of our two uh, innovators and we are confident they are likely to be able to scoop some awards at this uh, exhibition, at the ITU exhibition. At the last exhibition, uh, I'm aware that uh, two of our Kenyan innovators uh, won some awards and therefore this helps us to, uh, to, to kind of uh, compare ourselves what's happened globally 
uh, and also get an opportunity to identify some key collaborators that can work with the government in helping develop ICT agenda in Kenya. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing some of those insights with us, and uh, we wish you the very best both here at uh, the ITU Telecom World 2016, but also in the future. Thank you so much, and happy to be here, and thank you for the opportunity to be able to share the Kenyan experience at this ITU Telecom uh, conference. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. My pleasure.